Enjoy the view. What is going on everybody, Andy Gabs here and welcome back to another vlog. As you can see, I'm in the car driving and for you guys, the Pomona Reptile Expo probably already happened, but for me it's happening today. So I am driving to Pomona right now to go to the Pomona Reptile Expo. I'm going to be meeting up with Miguel from Always Evolving Pythons, Brian Cusco, Forrest Fanning, uh, a whole bunch of different people. We're gonna hit the expo, then we're gonna hit the US Arc auction and probably go out to like a bar, go out to dinner or something like that after. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Stay around, you guys are awesome. Like this video for me. If you're not already subscribed, subscribe for awesome content in the future. I'll bring you guys back once I get to the expo. All right guys, so I made it to the fairgrounds. Uh, just trying to figure out which building. I think it's this one right here. I'm actually staying in a hotel. Uh, I think you guys might be able to see it back there. Pretty much just trying to figure out where to go in. Oh uh, yeah, it's definitely right there because I can see snakes. But it doesn't open for like another 40 minutes, so I'm gonna have to wait in line. And it is freezing today. I feel like it's like 40 degrees. Once I get into the Reptile Expo, I'll bring you guys back. Alright guys, so we are still in line for the Reptile Expo. It is getting longer and longer. You guys can actually see Cusco down there a little bit. He just came and interrupted a video, uh, as he does. But I just met the first person that recognized me from YouTube through Brian's channel, not through my channel. But you know, it's cool. Uh, so what's your channel, man? Hey, my channel is Herpticulture with Ronald Damp. Herpticulture with Ronald Damp. So I'm going to throw his link in the description. Go ahead and go check him out. And what's the, the main idea for your channel? My channel is just anything, anything about herpticulture, whether it's field herping, whether it's keeping and breeding reptiles, or just going to reptile shows and meeting really cool people and hanging out and doing your thing. That's that's what it's about. So, all right, cool. So go ahead. I'm gonna throw his link in the description. His link will be the first one since he's the first person I met. Go ahead and give him a sub. Much love. Thank you guys. I appreciate the support. All right, so I made it into the show. First step, I'm gonna go find uh, Cusco and Miguel and just show you guys their booths. Then we'll walk around because everything is gonna get crazy here really shortly. Uh, but I want to show you guys some cool stuff before it gets too crazy. So let's do it. All right guys, well I found Cusco's booth, but uh, as you can see, there's no Cusco. So I'll walk around and try to find him. So I might have imagined the fact that Miguel had a booth because I've walked around like six times and I haven't found it. Uh, I've been to Cusco's a couple times, he's still not there. So I'm gonna head over to the SoCal Scales booth. Uh, I think he has a couple baby rhino iguanas and though I'm more than likely, you know, probably 100% not gonna buy it. I would like to see them, so we're gonna go check him out. Then I'll show you a bunch of people's booths, show you guys a bunch of cool animals. I might have to do this in like a part one and part two because I feel like this would be like a 30 minute video, but we'll see how it ends up going. Let's go check out some cool animals. All right guys, so we're back at SoCal Scales booth. You guys saw them from two videos ago or last video. So what's the coolest animal you guys have here today, in your opinion? It has to be the green tree monitors. We got a male and female right here. So they have a pair of green tree monitors. Look at the tail. That's badass. Uh, do you think you're gonna sell them today? Probably, yeah. Are you guys oh, yeah. only selling the pair? Or are you selling the? We sell them individually. Individually? Well. Yep. Well, there you go. Coolest animal at the SoCal Scales booth: a pair of green tree monitors. So this is definitely an interesting booth, something you don't see every day. These are all preserved animals that passed away, hopefully from natural causes, right? Yep, for awesome. Sure. So what's your uh, what's your business? Uh, bone beetle. Bone beetle? Yep. Bone beetle. Bone there you guys go. So a bunch of different really cool preserved animals. I see a fetal pig right there. Right? Yeah, there's pigs, snakes, there's a puppy. Yeah, I saw the puppy. That's almost kind of sad, but... Everything dies. A life yeah. is a life. That's true. That's true. This is really cool though. I think it's a scrub python? Uh, I believe so, yeah. Yeah. Scrub python preserved. Really, really cool. Definitely not something I was expecting to see today. So y'all want to talk about a cool animal that you definitely do not see very often. This is three Galapagos tortoises. The larger one is 8,900 bucks and the two smaller ones are 7,500. This is the biggest species of tortoise in the world. Uh, so the company selling this is SoCal Reptiles. I'll throw a link to their website down in the description of the video, but I want to turn you guys around and show you these guys because they are badass. Look at these guys. So this is the older one. He's 8,900 bucks. And then this is a pair of two smaller ones at 7,500 a piece. But man, imagine one day those guys are gonna be the size of like that whole table. It's insane. 
so I saw a boost that had some really crazy like Gila monsters and beaded dragons So I'm trying to go find where that was uh, I don't really remember so I just got to walk around until I happen to see it But once I get there, I'll show you guys them Gila's are one of my favorite animals I think I've talked about them in a couple videos before so once I find them I'll bring you guys back So obviously you guys can't super tell how big this guy is um, love to own one but again you definitely don't want to take a bite from one of them. Yeah that was really cool and those guys are massive. I mean I know you guys can't really tell from the video but literally probably like 14 inches long I think. Um, I also have some friends here from Triple L Reptiles. I don't know if they know that I'm here but I am so I'm gonna go and try to bug them. It's actually Alan the guy you guys saw in my other video at Triple L. So as long as they're not super mob we're gonna go say hi and see what they have for sale too. This is probably the coolest animal that I've seen so far today, aside from maybe those green tree monitors, which they actually have too, uh, chilling on some dude's head, so I might go say hi to those guys. But this is a blue-eyed leucistic rainbow boa. Look at that guy, look at his head. He almost literally looks like he has a rainbow on him. And the blue eyes are insane. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, guys, so the prettiest boa of the day so far definitely goes to John's Jungles uh, Captive Bred Reptiles. It's an opal fire boa, and I'm going to turn you guys around so you can see it now, but it is insane. Look at the vibrance on that boa, and you guys might think it's like lighting or camera that's giving it that crazy color, but that is 100% just the color of the boa. You can see it 100% sticks out in that rack, aside from that guy right there, which is a princess diamond everything they have insane again that's john's jungle i'm gonna throw their link in the description to their instagram or website something like that but definitely check them out they have some insane animals so i mean i obviously have to buy something when i'm here can't buy reptiles so like i'm left with the decision i have no idea what to buy like not even a little bit but my buddy George is right over here and he's selling uh, plants. George, the plant guy, he's in SDRK or San Diego Reptile Keepers. So I'm gonna show you guys all the plants George has. All right, so I made it to George's booth. I actually walked around like four times and I didn't see him because he's in the corner, which is probably a really good location, honestly, because everyone has to walk right by him. Uh, but I'm gonna let George talk for a minute and tell you guys about what he does and what his business is. What's up guys? Here at George at George's Plants. Come get your plants, what you need for your terrarium your mom, your girlfriend, whatever you need, and yeah, we got it going on here. Cool. Selling a little bit of everything, four inch, six inch. People are going crazy over these bat plants right here. Ooh. What is that? It's called a bat plant. Bat plant. People are going crazy. That's pretty weird looking. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to buy one of these though. I don't, what did you call it? This is a Nepenthes, it's called a pitcher plant. Nepenthes, or a pitcher plant, and it's like a carnivorous it's plant, a, right? It's a type of carnivorous plant. The bugs will actually go right in there, and there's hairs coming straight down where they won't be able to come back out, and guess what? You're dying, sucker. And they straight up, they like eat the bugs, right? Like that's how they, they get their nutrition. Yeah, yeah. That's absolutely crazy. So I think I'm gonna buy this. I was literally just talking about, I didn't know what to buy here since I can't buy reptiles. A plant isn't a reptile and it is alive, so I feel like it kind of counts. So uh, I'll definitely take that. All right, yeah. there you go. Bought it, the monkey cup plant. Thank you, George. Thank I'm you, Andy. Go. You guys know I love hot stuff, so. Oh, that stuff is so good. They say it's smoking hot. Let's give it a try. And then habanero chocolate chip cookies. Let's see. All right, so this is a habanero chocolate chip cookie. You can definitely taste the habanero. It's good. That's good. Very good. It's not hot yet. I think it's going to be one of those ones. She just went like this. I was like, you can definitely taste it. No, it's not that bad. I mean, if you're, if you're a chili. It's like a good level of hot. Yeah. Like a really good, like you could sit here and eat 20 of them. And I'll definitely take a bag, 100%. I'll take a bag, but I'm gonna try the jelly before I uh, before I leave. All right, now we're gonna try the chips. All right, pineapple habanero. Oh my god, it's so good. Peanut butter and jelly will never be the same. Or pork chop, sure. So bird chilies, and all these are like jellies that they have. 
Um, kind of like a red pepper jelly, but better. So, what is the fruit you guys use as the base? Really? So Trinidad Scorpions, we have experience with these. Regrettably. They're all really, really good. Do you guys have a card? All right, so not only do they have reptiles, unbelievable balls, um, so I'll throw the link to their something to their website or Facebook page in the description of the video. I'll actually turn you guys around so you can see all the reptiles as well. But definitely check out the jellies and the cookies. I'm buying both, they're delicious. Okay, so y'all saw the hot stuff, but now let's show you their snakes. I really did buy the jelly as well as a bag of the cookies. Both were absolutely delicious with chips, um, but I'll turn you guys around so you can see the snakes now. So obviously unbelievable balls, all ball pythons. They have one of my, uh, one of my grail snakes, a banana pied, super, super high white, all white except the head and the tail some regular pies, a banana cine pied. That's pretty awesome. Some regular pastel bananas, banana cinnamon pinstripe, possible het pied. That's a powerhouse animal right there. Yeah, just a ton of awesome ball pythons. So leopard blade clown, that's another crazy killer powerhouse combination they have. Leopard Clown, Super Pastel Yellow Belly, Pastel Bamboos. Also again, I'm gonna throw the link in their description. Go check them out, not only for their snakes, but for the jelly and cookies as well. They're delicious. Say hi, Brutus. Brutus, and what kind of iguana? He is a Cuban rock rhino iguana. Cuban rock iguana? Cuban rock rhino iguana. He's 20 years old and he's blind in one eye. Cuban rock rhino iguana, he's 20 years old, blind in one eye, but he is still absolutely gorgeous. There's his bad eye. Look at him. Definitely a stunner of the show, getting all the attention. Alright guys, so I am here with the most amazing and talented reptile enthusiast in the whole entire world. You guys probably already know him. If you follow me, you came from Brian and Noah, and they probably know this guy too, hey guys, Mr. Dave up? Kaufman. Tell us about your channel and what you do. Well, I uh, travel around the world and I find reptiles that you find like here at this expo, and I find them in the wild and talk about what they're doing in the wild and how they're earning a living and what the humidity and the temperature is actually like where they're from out in the wild, and so. So you're much more of a, what I do. a technical and like realist. A reptile yeah, sort of. realist, yeah, I, I guess you could call yeah, it. Yeah. Alright, well cool. Thank you very much, man. Absolutely. I appreciate it. Alright y'all, favorite ball python so far. Definitely this guy. This is a leopard blackhead lavender ball python. And the yellow and white contrast on it is just insane. So beautiful. I don't think it's for sale. But it is gorgeous. So if you guys couldn't tell by that clip, it's definitely starting to get packed here. More and more people are rolling in. Uh, I think a few of my friends will be here that I'm actually crashing with for the night at the hotel. Uh, after the auction, we'll be here in like five minutes. Pretty sure I just saw Miguel on Instagram. Uh, he'll be here shortly, so I'm gonna try to track him down, try to track Cusco down as well. I've seen him a couple times, but he's been busy filming. Uh, but yeah, we'll see what I can do. All right, guys, and Brian Cusco is finally here at his booth. He was running around recording everything else because he's doing interviews for people all day. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what he brought. Though he did already sell, uh, in my opinion, the coolest snake that he brought, the sunset, but you still have a, a head sunset left, right? Pass head. Pass head sunset. But I mean, we could, we could be hopeful and say that it's a head sunset. Um, so I'm gonna turn you guys around and, and show you guys everything that Brian brought. Enjoy the view. All right, y'all, so we'll start right here with the Pastel Super Stripe. 100% Het Ultramel. And Enchi Pos Het Sunset. So this is one of the Pos Het Sunsets he has. I thought that's right. A full Ultramel. He's like, you gotta stop by and ask him. Leopard Het Clown. Wait, I'm right. 
and NG Cinnamon Prospect Sunset. So that's the other really high dollar snake that he has, and obviously, hopefully, that really is a head sunset because that will produce some crazy babies. And then this was the one that he already sold, the NG Cinnamon Sunset. That was the really, really killer snake that Brian brought. Brian brought. And then he brought the big lavender albino motley tiger reticulated python. Uh, I think I might have actually held her in his last video that I did with him, but obviously she is beautiful. Alright, so this is obviously Zilla's booth. Uh, they have a bunch of awesome play enclosures set up. Uh, so I'm just going to go around and show you guys all of Zilla's display enclosures. These guys really cool we came out with a new line of vertical decor um, this one they all come with the really powerful suction cups on the back the nice thing about this guy is there's a little den in here it comes with this little peel back so you can peel it back and oh, peek inside so cool. without harassing your animal constantly to check if maybe they laid eggs or if they're in there and then the top of course comes off inside of the tank to put in moss or get them out so it just makes a really cool little humid hide that can be raised. The other newest thing we just came out with, and obviously the chameleon likes it because they already pooped on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we have our new little spring cave oh, that's for so the cool. waterfall. So there's a nice reservoir in here. The holes inside are nice and small so that hopefully you're not getting a bunch of crickets drowning inside and gunking up your water so it's easier to clean out. You have the water flowing down the leaves because we know chameleons like to lap it off of there. Yeah. But it's great for a bunch of other species, not just chameleons. But um, I've seen people with frogs. They love to get all up in there and yeah. hang out with the waterfall. That would be an awesome dart frog too if you built yep. up the built up the um, yep. back wall. So these are very popular. That's our new spring cave. Very cool. All right, as you guys can tell, uh, we're getting further and further into the show, further and further into the afternoon. It is absolute madness in here right now. Super packed. Um, I'm just going to continue to go through and show you guys everything that I haven't showed you so far. So if you are enjoying this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up for me. I would appreciate it. Uh, this is going to be a long one, guys. So I hope you like it. I hope you guys actually watch. Let me know what you think so far down in the comment section. I know, again, this one's going to be long. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be busy. But I hope you guys like it. And later on tonight, we are actually going to go to the U.S. Ark auction. And then, um, like I said, I think I already told you guys we're going to go maybe out to dinner or hit some bars or something after that. So, hope you guys enjoy so far. Oh, also, I have my friend here, a lesser ball python, right? Lesser? Mojave. Mojave, whatever. As you guys know, I don't know my ball python morphs. But she's Brooks and she's for sale, right? Yeah. For how much? I don't know. <laughs> 20 bucks. Let me know. Hit me up. All right, guys. So I'm here with Nick from Wyoming Reptiles on Instagram. Go ahead and follow him. But Nick, tell me what your uh, your Instagram page is about. My Instagram page, I mean, I'm a small hobby, ball python breeder. Have some retics. Just like to show awesome snakes and colors. I mean, leopard geckos, anything. They're all cool. So I'll just show as much cool stuff as I can and try to put out some good content for you. All right, for sure. So he will definitely be down in the description. Probably like the 20th link because you guys know I've probably linked about a million people by now but Wyoming reptiles definitely go check them out on Instagram yeah, I'll Thanks, be man. last on there so you're good no yeah last maybe first I don't know <laughs> this is Ben with captive inverts isopod.com captive inverts isopod.com you guys know they will be linked in the description look at how big this hisser is it's not a hisser it's not a hisser no what is it it's called an Australian giant litter bug or they also call it the rhino roach rhino. it's the longest lived roach live up to 10 years it's not even actually fully grown that's not no. So full grown adult would be about as wide as my hand, about that long. That's horrifying in the coolest way possible. Yeah. Very hard to come by in the US. An adult male, which this is, sells for 250 bucks. Oh my the, god. The female, she's about 400. That's See insane. If I can find her. And then babies sell for 100, 125 a piece. So that is 125. So that's like $600 worth of roaches in your hand. Uh, right close now. to about 700, 750. That is amazing. And so I'm here with my buddy Austin from Ball and Chain Constrictors on YouTube. Definitely go give him a subscription. His link will be down below with the other 8 million links from today. But tell me about your channel and tell me what it is. Uh, my channel is just uh, me showing off uh, my snakes, my journey, building, breeding, uh, doing my own thing. Uh, sometimes it's age appropriate to kids, sometimes it's not. It just really depends on what kind of uh, video I film. That's pretty much like mine too. I mean, I'm like 50-50 whether or not kids can watch. We're definitely going to do a collab video soon, right? Once my baby is born or maybe before the baby is born, 
Uh, it just kind of depends on when she decides to come. Yeah. Well, but, it jinx me because I'm always pregnant. So. Yeah, I know. So like, I think we talked about it probably right before your wife got pregnant, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then he was like, "Oh, dude, now my wife's pregnant." I was like, "Oh, good luck, man." Yeah, it's a. Uh, it's a wild ride, dude, babe. Good luck. Good luck, man. It gets. I feel like I'm gonna throw up 24/7. I'm so nervous. Yeah. Well, I'm already there too. Like I'm scared shitless to be a dad, but. Yeah. No, me too. But he'll be great. I'll be great. Hopefully. Uh, yeah, um, but yeah. It. Definitely in the future we'll have a video coming for sure. So I'm here with the Snake Trap Sessions on YouTube, and uh, tell me what your channel's about. Everything. We're doing a little tutorials, showing off our what we're breeding. This guy's got the snake trap at his house. There's all sorts of crazy nonsense going on. We want to show you how you could do this without stressing about everyday day-to-day -day stuff. We just want to show you how you can have fun, and basically, you know, what you could expect when it comes to keeping reptiles. Because it's not always peaches and cream. So it's we're just definitely not. We're here to show you the reality of it, plain and simple. So. And do you guys mainly do like ball pythons or? No, we work with ten over species. So we work with green trees, emeralds, ball oh, pythons. Okay. Uh, white lips, olive pythons, uh, there's a whole list of it, so. Okay, awesome, well definitely go check them out. Their link will be, you know, however many I put so far, <laughs> but their link will definitely be in the description, go give them a sub for me. All right, y'all, so we are headed into the hotel now, gonna get ready for the auction, have some dinner. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the first video, part one of the Pomona Reptile Expo right here. Thank you guys for watching, I appreciate it. Do me a favor, smash the like button, comment something, let me know what you thought of the show, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I appreciate it guys, peace.